What is going on everyone? KM Dolph back for the next installment of Transport Fever 2. Now, I did already record an episode today, being Thursday the 6th of August, uh, but the joys of computer technology is when things update, settings get reset. So I recorded a 40 minute long episode uh, with no audio quality at all. My mic didn't work, it didn't pick up the sound in game, I didn't check it, so it is what it is. But uh, what we're doing today is I'm just basically going to update you on everything I did in that 40 minutes and then hopefully try and put something else new in there. Uh, we're here in Richmond. I'll show you everything that I've done off... Well, technically now it'll be off camera because the episode went to crap. But anyway, I'll show you what I've done right after the intro. It's Okay, and we're back from the intro, and as you can see, we're still here in Richmond, as my little tank engine does his bit and heads off back down to Axe Bridge, which is great. Uh, you can see here, I've fixed up the freight station, and as you can see, there is freight for the Halo line. Uh, I've already set up the Halo line, I have put trains in motion, I've got these little, where are they? Here it is, these commuter trains which have already started taking off, which is brilliant. Very, very happy with that. They're already taking off. I've put buses and trucks into the Halo network to pick things up and drop things off. Um, one of the other things I did do, you may notice that uh, as part of this freight, there is stone. Uh, what I've done is if I zoom over here to Dun Matter, here you go, Dun, Dun De Matter, Here's my uh, first train doing its bit. This is the GE uh, 963, my little freight train with some naffies on the back of him. These are the 2000 naffies, which uh, are absolutely boss. Uh, and what I've done is I've created a little bit of a network here. So essentially what happens is I've got 38 stones sitting there. What will then happen is I've got two little trucks that basically come down this road here, they do this bit, they come around here, that looks horrible, which we'll fix momentarily, and they head up here to their own construction material plant. There's a the truck. There he is, he's right there. So he's already doing his bit, and uh, what's essentially going to happen is those two little trucks are just going to go back and forth uh, along this line. Yeah, I need to fix that real quick. And um, essentially all they're going to do is they're going to bring me uh, all the good good. There you go, and we'll fix this up real quick. And we're just going to go, oh, well, bam, like so. There you go, that looks a lot better. Now you've, got your, now you've got a proper line. So yes, two little trucks, they'll come along, they'll pick up their stuff, uh, and, in they, and in they'll plonk. Uh, what I might do really quickly is I might just do a little bit of a... Um, a street access off the back here because I reckon that's going to be uh, hunky dory for these little trucks and then we can do something like uh, something like that and then um, everything will be a bit giddy up after that so you got the commuter so does that bugger up anyone's uh, bus routes I mean yeah it does which is a little bit annoying but what can you do uh, so yeah, those those buses will come in there. These trucks will come in here, pick up their uh, their stocks, and then uh, this bus is going to do a U-turn in that way that he does. Probably not the way I wanted to do this, because now they're going to come into here and just do all sorts of uh, funky business. Look at that. That looks terrible. Yeah, I need to fix that real quick. Oh, hello. Commuter train. 22 people on board. So that's already taken off, which is fantastic. And here goes my little my little truck. He's doing his bit. Yep, so that bus is going to pull in, do a Yui, pick people up, do another Yui, and then off he goes. I mean, it doesn't look that terrible, so I might just leave it as it is. It is 
as they say, it is what it is. So, yeah, so I've done that. Uh, and the way in which these trucks do this is I've got one little truck there, and then they plug up this mountain here, as you'll see momentarily as I zoom up the mountain. Uh, they zoom up here and into this little... Uh, yeah, into there. And this thing will be uh, running a lot as no tomorrow. But yes, so I've done that. That's all well and good. The only thing I can't do is I can't get them over to here only because that is uh, too much of a hill to climb, I think, for anybody. And um, this town's already having enough issues with um, trucks and buses and things happening everywhere. There's another commuter train, 39 people on board. Not running at full capacity yet, but it will get there with time. Um, now, the, uh, the one thing I did want to do while I was off camera... Jesus. Look at that there bottleneck. That's, that's quite an impressive bottleneck. That's very impressive. Love it. It's because I've got so many intersections. I've got that one there, then I've got that one there, and there's just too many traffic lights. But anyway, that is uh, that is what it is. And then you've got people trying to come in here, and yeah, it's just all... Hello, what's... what the hell is that? Damn. That is a big tower right in the middle of um, Grimsby. Well, there you go. That's, that's kind of interesting. Uh, platform is happening. 25 passengers there. That's all well and good. And then we got buses going over here doing their bit. They're making me some money. But yeah, as you can see, the money is flowing. So I'm not uh, not terribly concerned about that at the moment. The other thing I did do is I realised that um, this particular network system over here can't take fuel because you need a tanker to take fuel and I've only just realized this and I'm a bit of a goob for doing so but that also makes me wonder about this particular uh, fuel network because I don't think these guys are these guys getting the fuels over here I don't think they are uh, I don't think the Madeira freight's getting anything in the ways of um the the fuels i'm pretty sure these things let me have a quick look at this because i may have uh i may have been cutting myself short this entire time where's a large ship here it is no so they actually do not take fuel at all so yeah i, I kind of uh i kind of done goofed on that i think no wonder no one's getting anything. So realistically, I can just cut this system off. Yes. Yes, I can. I can, re I can re reconfigure this so that I've only got... Because at the moment, I've got oil to fuel and the early fuel import. Because they reckon that goes into early, which I'm telling you right now pretty sure doesn't that's the early fuel import where does he go does he come into there oh yeah okay so he goes into there and he drops off all his kit but he's also not dropping off any kit so realistically that is all for nothing yeah so realistically, I only need two lines. I need one that goes out to there and then one that just does... Yeah, okay. Well, let's do that then. Let's fix that up right quick. Because all I need is I need one to go from here to here. Oh, hang on. Does this, is this line getting any fuel at all? No, they don't even need fuel. So the fact that there's even... See, there's, there's, there's no fuel getting left here at all. See? No, no fuels. Early food import only gets food and construction materials. So they're cactus. Yeah, so that's that's actually not happening at all. And I've just realised that I've muffed this up the entire time. 
because there is no way of getting anything out to here because he, he only comes from there. Yeah, okay, let's fix it. Uh, early. Oh, God. All right, we need ships. Just the ships. Just need some ships. That's all we need. Uh, the oil to fuel, you don't need to go down to to there at all, down to Axbridge. You can stay away from Axbridge and you can just do your little one-way trip and that way you'll be hunky-dory. You're just going to take that, go back and get more. Yeah. And then, with all that happening, we've then got the Starter Island Freight, which is that one. That's the... No, that's the Axbridge import, so that's that one. That's fine. Early fuel. Yeah, so that should be fine now. So I've got that one line. That one line. Uh, the early fuel import. And the early food import. And then the starter island freight, which is that thing doing the construction materials. Okay, that works. So now I only have one which is not going to confuse anybody in the slightest. So you will drop off your kit. Yes, your early food and your oil to fuel. So you won't ever need to come back down here again, Sunshine. You're just going to do that one, and that's all you're going to do. And that's going to be perfect. So yes, um, I actually don't need a second one of these, so I can get rid of that. You're gone. Gone and dusted. Okay, so... Uh, no, I need to just double check the line maintenances. Yes, here we go. So the early food is that one. And they've got two. Early fuel now only has one, which will give him plenty of time to store up and do everything that he does. The Axe Bridge import is fine. Oil to fuel, you should only have one. Starter Island Freight has got two, which is fine. It can stay that way. And I'm pretty sure I have now fixed that entirely. Yes, that's all fixed. So now I've got one coming up here doing that. He'll drop off all that kit. Oil to fuel doesn't need any more of that. Uh, of that. Should be just dropping off that but anyway it is what it is and that way now i should have did i say i had two on the no that's the axe bridge that's starter island freight that's fine uh how many did i have on the uh the blue line the fuel import only one well i mean i could fix that and put two on there and that would be fine. Clone it. And I can also rename this line as well, which I should probably do, because that's just the uh, that's just a fuel delivery system now. So that will deliver fuel up to here. Uh, um, yeah, and that that's peachy. You shouldn't need to do anything more than that. Although I could drop you off there realistically. I could also get you dropped into there, and that way then you could supply. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so the early fuel import. No, 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 go back to there, thank you. Uh, you're going to go up to Axbridge, then you're going to go to Lewisham. On your way back, you're going to drop off whatever the hell you've got there. Uh, but I'm probably going to put you on the other side of that platform, although I can't. Um... Let's uh, let's configure this real quick. I might need to put an extra cargo spot on here. Although I did have this problem last time where I couldn't do that. Cargo. Put a large one on there. Thank you. Put you there. Let's put a landing there. And that will be you sorted. Uh, the early fuel import. You need to come on that other side for me, Pullers. Axe Bridge Sidings. Why can you not do those things that I want you to do? There is a landing there. 
So you don't really have much of an excuse. Uh, okay. Not too sure what your malfunction is, but whatever. Mm. Alright, what if... What if I delete that? There you go. Then I grab another cargo platform and I plonk you. Plonk you there. There you go. And then I'll grab a landing for you and I'll chuck you out there. And that way now, I should be able to manage that line. Why can't you go to that platform? Axbridge port's over there. Yeah, I got that. Okay, I don't understand this part at all. Add station. There you go. Now you'll go onto there. There you go. Done. So, what that will do is it will drop off any existing fuel and it will do a two-run trip while still carrying... Uh, actually, that doesn't make any sense at all. Did I just muck that up entirely? Yes. Yes, I did. Manage the line. Get rid of Axbridge. So you're going to leave Axbridge port first. Then you're going to stop in there. And then you're going to make your way up there. Drop off what's left and pick up more stuff and head back. Yes. Okay, now that's fixed. Took me way too long to fi finish that up and fix it, but whatever. Uh, Axbridge import has got two fuel. I do not know why. Because for the simple fact of the matter is, you can't take fuel. So why have you even got fuel? Um, it's a very good question. Can you actually take fuel? Are you even capable of such things? Cargo. Yes, it takes all fuel. Well, that would explain a lot. It doesn't explain why your counterparts can't do all fuels, but anyway. Um, what I should probably do... Because that's just going to annoy me. Yes, because these things do all, all, uh, all stuffs, which we don't want why I've had to do this in the first place. But anyway. Um, oh dear. What can the matter be? Can I replace that ship? I mean, I can. The question is whether or not I should. The Herculean tugboat. There you go. So you take... Oh, well, hang on. It's because I haven't got a ship that can take everything, which is why I'm in this mess to begin with. Now, you know what? Just leave it as it is. Bugger it. I don't, I don't even really care that greatly anymore. Now, the good news is there is an oil-to-fuel uh, thingy on its way. Uh, however, oil-to-fuel now has 464 available to it. So, let's manage this thing real quick. Let's replace him with a bigger tugboat that takes 350. Now we're going to have ourselves a big old, a big old Hercules tanker towboat that just takes oil and f stuff. Because that's essentially all he is doing. There you go. So now we go over here and have a look at him. Look at that big boss. It's just a giant floating barge. Oh, I absolutely love that. Then you got this thing over here, the early food imports, and that's that's all boats, 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 mate. That's all it is, just boats, boats, boats. Axbridge import. Hang on, where are you going? You're you're going over there. Oh, okay. You're gonna start taking over a little bit of a uh, little bit of the, the crude oils. I don't know why. That's a bit stupid, but anyway. Because he's going to drop off over there. That's why. There you go. 
Maybe I shouldn't have done that little drop-off point there, because realistically, those trucks are just going to do it all for me anyway. Fine. Go back into here. Uh, I need to go back to that line. I keep stuffing things up. Don't stop off at the sidings. Because all you're going to do is just cause me grief. When I've got a little truck that does all that for me. Yep, stick with that. Yep, cool. So there's only six of that available. And there's currently... Wait on. I should be able to configure this to make it just one bloody giant platform. Uh, which side is anything coming off? That side. I'm going to make it come off the other side, for one. Uh, let's go off platform two, because that looks a bit more fun. Yep, that looks a bit more fun. And then what we'll do is we'll go in here, we'll configure this, and we're going to go... We're going to go... Whoa, bam. And there you go. Now... Two hours later. Okay, and we're back after that little bit of a... Um, <laughs> a stoppage in recording. Uh, apparently I don't uh, clean out my hard drive often enough, so there you go. But yes, so what we've done now is we've effectively turned, just to sort of get back on track a little bit while I try and remind myself what the hell I did for 20 minutes ago, uh, is yes, there's one, one line going from oil to refined oil, and then one coming down here to do that, and then take it back up there. It will drop off its own fuel to uh, here to be picked up by old mate over there. No, that's a different train. Uh, but essentially, yes, that's what's essentially going to happen. Is this thing will pick up fuel, take it over there for the Garrett, and that will be hunky-dory. And everyone will be happy as clam. Oh, here, here comes a Garrett, speaking of which. Look at this. He's bringing in some kit for the township. Not a hell of a lot, but enough to get them by. Now, I'm pretty sure that this line has actually got two locos. Yes, it does. Uh, that particular one is train number 12, so I'm going to get rid of him because I don't think he's doing enough for me at the moment. So there you go. Now, I've only got one, which is fine. It just brings a lot more... Uh, at a time. If it picks up again, then I'll uh, I'll sort that out later on. But there you go. So that's all that done. Huntington's got its own stuff now. Oh, here you go. Dun Mud has got some uh, some uh, construction materials to go around the island, which is great. That's all happening. And the township here, who also want construction materials, are getting their share as well. There you go. Commuter train. Still not making me any monies, but uh, it's getting there slowly while these people do their bit. But there you go. That is now effectively that line all set up with everywhere to go. Oh, hello. He's got... What's he got? He got some stone and he's got a little tiny little bit of food. That's all right. He can, he can have at that for a little while. Uh, apparently there's some, been some stone left on this particular platform. Nothing's been dropped off here for these guys yet. Um, even though, well, I mean, Huntington only wants tools and, um, construction materials, which is a slight annoyance, given the fact that the tools have to come from over there. Here's the, here's the little train that could. What's he going to do? Is he going to drop stuff off? Maybe. There you go. He's dropped stuff off. He's picking stuff up. He's now got full load for the first time ever. Yep. He got full load. Look at him. There you go. Go, sunshine. Do that work that you do. As that picks up more and more, I'll be able to... Uh, either make another one of those, which I probably will do, because they're only small... Uh, and I can run two of them simultaneously, rather than making one big long one. Although this game does seem to like the big long one a little bit more than the uh, alternative. But never mind. It is what it is. So that means now, 
that uh, these trains are going to have a little bit of a uh, little bit of stuff to pick up. Look at that, Axbridge branch lines picking up pace. Whoa! Manage the vehicle. Let's uh, let's let's do a little something something here, and let's uh, put another train on the line, shall we? The LB E three O six two. Okay, cool. All right, let's duck back over here, chuck another train on there because uh, apparently the passengers are starting to really like this particular setup. So there you go. Buy a vehicle. Yes, please. Uh, steam train. Uh, I need to find that same. What was it? An O O something. Pretty sure it was not this train. Pretty sure it was something else along here. 062 variant. Pretty sure this was it. The E3? Yeah, that's the one. We'll chuck a chuck a yellow one on this one. We'll get him some passenger carriages because it's what we do. Uh, we'll just chuck these little happy-go-lucky things on there. We'll give him some green ones because green seems to be the thing to do. Um, he's only got four on there, doesn't he? Yes. So, I need a, uh, a third class. And then I need a, uh, a back wagon. And there you go. You are now done and bought. You, my friend, can now jump on the Axbridge branch line. Off you go. Now we have dos trains doing that bit that they do. Look at him. He looks kind of cute. Broadbridge. There you go. Hey, look. Just when I made fun of it at the beginning of the episode, we've now got a, a wieners out here in the middle of the road where people can get all the wieners they want. Alright, let's have a quick look gander down this line, see what we've got happening. Other than a massive bottleneck. There goes that. How's my little passenger train doing over here? Oh, he's doing alright. Started making some money, finally. So that's going to be a busy little branch line now that I'm going to have a couple of trains running up and down it. Is that a broad bridge? Why, yes. No, it's not. It's a southern. Aha. Uh -huh. So you've got the uh, the tan livery coaches. The tan and cream. And then you've got your counterpart over here. Who we're going to go and watch real quick as these trains pass each other. Because that's always fun to do. There we go. There you go. They pass each other. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go couple of little trains doing their bit. Look at this monstrosity. People can't get the train, so now we're bottlenecked all the way back to there. My God. Look at this. This is madness. We need, uh, we need something to happen there, because that's just craziness. There you go. That ought to take some passengers off your... Uh, There you go. That's all moving now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's watch this. There goes a the commuter. 29 people on board. It's come down under the million mark, so that's uh, it's happening. Tornado trains now available. You're picking up a whole bunch of stuff. Look at all that. There you go. 55 stone. 10 lots of brick and some food. There you go. It's pretty good. And there goes the tank engine off down the branch line. And here comes the GE, doing his bit, pulling all that kit. Look at it. That's just marvellous. I mean, it's not full by any stretch, but it's certainly on its way to being uh, a hunky-dory little little line. It's all happening. There you go. How's my little truck service doing up here? Are you guys doing all right up there? I mean, you're not going full yet, but you're doing all right. You're getting there. 
Where's the other one? Oh yeah, he's coming down there with a load of 13. It's not terrible. There you go. Drop that off. Yep. Good. And then off you go. Beautiful. So that is all... Uh, that's all hunky-dory now, isn't it? How much you got on there? You got nothing. Well, that's just rude. The BP truck's got nothing happening because that's not happening. There's no productions. Oh dear. Where's the next uh, shipment? You got 220 of that on board. You're doing alright. Yeah, you're doing alright. The only problem I've got now is the fact that those, those boats really aren't making a hell of a lot of money. Although, in saying that, he's doing alright. They, they pick up by the time they drop their stuff off. So that's not terrible, but it's not... Uh, certainly not great. Airport, airport. Yeah, right, okay. So that's why nothing's happening there, because you're only getting one ship at a time. And you're on the wrong... Um, yeah, okay, that's terrible. So what I need to do is you've just dropped off a whole lot of stuff. Yep, so now you're going to pick up, which is great. Which means I can literally turn you around and you can go back and you can go pick up another lot. Because there's going to be a fair chunk of you coming that way very, very shortly. Because look at that. You drop off all of that you then take off and head back down your way. There you go. So that's all happening. You got enough stuff now to do, you know, everything. Current consumption rate. Your consumption rate's out the door, but anyway. That's, uh... That will take some time. But nevertheless, it's all good in the hood. Um... I don't know that there's anything else I can do with today's episode. We've done pretty much all that we can do for now. Food lines are taken off. We've got stuff coming in over here. There's, um... Oh, yeah, there we go. The tools have started coming in. Tools and foods. Oh, I want to watch this before we go. There's my truck that doesn't do anything. Never mind. Never mind. In you come. Here he comes. Little tank engine. Still got 12 on there that you're going to drop off here because of reasons. It's going to go in here. Watch. Or maybe it won't. That's interesting. I'd like to know where it went. You should almost be running full here. And you are going to run full. There you go. Tools and food for everyone. Yay! That's all exciting. Go, son. There you go. He's happy. Here comes Tank Engine Friend. He's full. A little southern train. And there goes that one. There you go. It's all coming together, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I feel a little bit uh, taken aback by um, the fact that the episode cut itself off the way it did. Because uh, I ran out of disk space. Oh, look, another wieners. There's wieners everywhere. Oh, look, another wieners. There you go. I could probably go around here and find another one. No, not yet. <laughs> look at how much that city's taken off. Look at it. It's gotten huge. Yep, so that's not doing anything yet. There's a ship coming in. There it is. Let's speed things up. I want to get this ship in because I want to see if this uh, township gets any fuels. Because I do want to see that get taken away. And it, there's the BP truck. In he comes. Go around. Do your bits. There you go. Swing around. And nothing, and you're going to take off. See you, bye. 
And uh, yeah, that's um, that's all hunky dory. There goes that ship. He started losing money now. He's losing a bit, but that's all right. We can live with it. Here comes the ship. Here he goes. In he comes, doing his bit. And boom. Start business. Booming. Boom, 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 boom. Go. Make me stuff. Make me proud. Make me happy. Yep. Good. And you're off. You're finally taking off again. Here you go. Consumptions. Consumptions. Yes. Good thing is here, it's one for one. So that shouldn't affect things too greatly. Hopefully now we can just start getting a bit more... A bit more stuff happening, which would be nice. Uh, you got 66 on board. That's not... Uh, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's also not great. Here you go. There we go. There we go. We've picked up again. We got consumptions. That's all. That's all happening. I don't know why you really want to take oil back with you, but nevertheless. Uh, Damien Fa uh, Damon Ferry. That's cool. That's a ferry service. And we got a whole bunch of Kiwi Rail. Kiwi Rail's good, but I'd much rather a bit of uh, New South Wales, if uh, anyone's watching. Doing their bits. You've run out. That's fine. There should be a ship coming in shortly with uh, a lot more a lot more in the tank for you. See, there you go. You're doing your bit. Which means that uh, I should be getting a little train service come through here momentarily. And by train service, I mean this gigantic oil train. Yeah, him. There's a plane. Right, in he comes. Drop off 216 load. Now you've got time to go back down the line and go pick up more. Boom. Make it happen. There you go. And he's off again. Hopefully he'll come back with more. But uh, I, I sort of doubt it. Yeah, not too sure why you're take, trying to take oil with you. But, um, you know, ho-hum. Which one's that side? That's that side. Okay. Does anything come on that side? I don't think there is. No, there's not. Can I configure this so that that thing can... So that thing can die? There you go. That should fix you up. Yeah, that works now. You've both got sides where you've just got multiple ends. you got multiple ends. That'll make you happy. And that should make everybody happy with a bit of luck. But uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is today's episode done, I think. Nothing happening here. Is that because you started running out of food again? Well, that's just... Uh, that's just not cricket. That's the... No, oh, no. That's just one of those trains. That's just picked up a load. Not a huge load by any stretch. Yep, here you go. 84 grain on board. Making me a ton of money. And you would have just dropped off a bunch of food. You would have just dropped off a bunch, wouldn't you? No, you didn't drop off much at all. Why are you not got the foods? You had 109 grain. What's your malfunction? Well, at least you're dropping off a lot of food. That's going to be great. You're dropping off plenty of stuff. But, uh... Yeah. Alright, we're going we're gonna to watch that boat come in from here. Guys, that's it for today. Uh, it's a two-parter because halfway through, as I said, it cut out. And I had to uh, delete some old stuff and put some new stuff in. But what can you do? Uh, make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Comment your suggestions uh, for the next adventure in this Transport, 2, Transport Fever 2 series. Um, chuck any comment in there you like. Uh, if you want to see me do more stuff with planes or trains or boats or whatever, let me know in the comment section. 
Uh, like and follow me on Facebook, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and click the notification button so you can keep up to date with all things KM Dolph. And as this boat slowly makes its way in, and this passenger train makes its way out of the station... There it is, it's over there. It'll get there. Uh, guys, I will see you for the next instalment of Transport Fever 2. Take care, everyone.